Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Hope everybody's having a great day. Do me a favor, guys. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to the like button, which is down there somewhere. I would love to have you here on a regular basis and every subscriber and every like does help the channel grow. That would be amazing. And now let's get to what's on the table. This is a new Kaiser. Uh, reasonably new, a couple of months now, a few months now. Uh, this is the Kaiser Deviant. It is a superb pocket knife. It is very different from the Kaisers that I used to collect, which were big and all titanium S35VN. This is white G10 and um, micarta. It is M390, which is a really, really, of course, excellent blade steel. And of course, Kaiser does their blade steels very, very well. As you can see, this one is coated. There are a couple of versions of this one. Um, this is, by every measure, an excellent pocket knife. It is, however, sort of the new thing that Kaiser's doing. It is a little small. Now that's for me. And even then, don't get me wrong, I still get a solid grip on it. But as you can see, I'm running out of knife down here at the end. So this would not be one that I would pick up for my collection, but for most people with smaller mitts, I think this is a superb pocket knife. Now it is a liner lock, as you can see. Oops, excuse me. And let's see if we can get that to show up, even though it's very dark. There we go. We are locked up at about 30%, which is a really nice lockup state. It's got a space in the back for a lanyard if you lanyard. It is a very simple construction with two barrel spacers in the back, which is awesome. This is a superb small pocket knife. I think one of my favorite things about this knife is this pocket clip. Now the pocket clip is mostly deep carry. There we go. And the screws that hold it in place are completely flush and it is down into the micarta, which is really, really nice. So nothing hangs up. It comes in and out of the pocket very, very well. Deployment is by thumb stud and that is smooth and easy to do. All in all, this is excellent quality. I just wish Kaiser would go back to what made me like them in the first place, which is making big knives. But that again is not for everyone. I get that. That of course is one of the challenges of being both a reviewer and a collector, right? I have my own tastes that drive my collection. Uh, companies tend to move in and out of that space and sometimes they don't, uh, well, they don't make the knives that I would like them to make. But I always want to be clear, you know, it, look, if the quality had dropped off, this wouldn't be on the table. That's not what happened here. It's just a little small for me. How small? Well, here's a pair of three. You can see that these knives are almost identical in size. Now, the pair of three is a good size knife for most people, but for me, I run out of handle unless I use the choil, right? So it's this is a little small for my hand. That's okay. Let's do it up against the uh, PM2. Ah, there we go. That's more my size. And as you can see, uh, it is basically dwarfed by the uh, PM2 here. Sorry, I'm having a... Uh... <laughs> my dog was over there doing something and I got distracted. Anyway, um, if we put these all on the table at the same time... You can rightly see where this thing falls in in the size. So if this is the right knife for you, this very well may be the right knife for you too. And in fact, the handle on this is more comfortable in here. So there's that. I really like it. I like it because what it what it signifies it signifies that Kaiser is still making really good knives. Would I like this better if it was twenty percent bigger? You bet. But that's okay. Not all knives are for me. As I've said many times on the channel, one of the lovely things, just fantastic things about knives is that not all knives are for all people, and that's okay. Your feelings, your opinion, your use, your whatever that drives you to want knives can be radically different from mine, and yet still be totally right. This is not an issue of right or wrong. It's an issue of personal taste and preference. So there's always that, and I think it's really cool. Let's go ahead and knock the specs out on this little kind of cool guy. You get one, two, and just over three, two, one, two, excuse me, and almost three. So yeah. two and seven eighths inches of cutting on just at three inches of M390. The grip area is comfortably 
is one, two, three and a half. And I have just over three and three quarter inch palm. So that's why I run out of knife just a little bit. The overall length on this guy is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a quarter, right? Which is a very good size knife. Look, when I carry this thing and I have, um, this actually belongs to women carry knives, as you can imagine. Um, I usually wear it when I'm wearing light shorts, right? It's been very warm here lately. So stuff like this has gotten a fair amount of pocket time. And it is a good user, even in my sort of oversized hand. You can see it just disappears back there. Because of the marvelous shape of this handle, it just locks in very, very well. Now, what, again, I wouldn't get it, you know, I, would, I wouldn't buy this for myself because I think it's too small. But having it in the house means that I can use it when I want to. And um, the use has been very good. I've done all the basic cutting that I always do. And the M390 has not lost its edge at all. And in fact, the blade coating on here has... I mean, it looks brand new, which is to me an indication always that they've done a good job both on the heat treat, that's the edge, and on the coating, which, you know, a cheap coating will wear off. You'll, you know, cut cardboard, you'll cut boxes, you'll cut whatever you're cutting, and it'll leave stripes and marks. That has not happened at all with this knife, which is awesome. <laughs> it really is. Let's go ahead and knock some basic specs out of the way. Where are we here? There we are. All right, the old reliable calipers. So what has the blade stock thickness? We're looking at just over three millimeters. If you guys can see that. The handle itself is 12.4, almost 13 millimeters at its thickest point, which is just over a half inch this way. At its thickest point, the handle is almost an inch. So it is hand filling where, it gra where I can grab it. It is very hand filling. I'm not against, it's funny because I talk a lot about my, I don't like small knives, but here's the thing. I actually do like them in the sense that I love the engineering. I love the materials. I just have a, a problem and that's these, right? Uh, small knives and I, don't get along when it comes to regular use. Now, again, if I'm just carrying this thing and I'm going to crack open a package or whatever, it's perfect. It's not a problem. But on the days when I really need a knife, um, you know, it's something that's got to be much more this size so I can get a really good lock of grip on it or else I end up with hot spots and all the other stuff. But most people, again, don't have hand. Anyway, the point that I keep making is that while this is not necessarily a knife for me, it is an excellent pocket knife. And if you are looking for a great pocket knife right around the seven inch mark, you know, to a little under three inches of cutting, uh, because it is a three inch blade, it is legal in a lot of places that have a three inch limitation, which is really nice. And of course it is beautiful. I mean, it's really well done. Enough so that again, I wish there was an XL version of this so that my big old meat hooks could have something for me, but that's not the case. Let's go ahead and weigh it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Crappy unreliable scale. It is accurate. It just doesn't turn on all the time. All right, so 3.6 ounces. So we're a little bit over the ounce per inch that is sort of the gold standard in uh, EDC, but still, you know, 3.6 ounces is nothing really. And for an M390 blade with this lovely kind of warny shape and the great, or sheep's foot shape, excuse me, and the great cutting that this thing does. Now here's the thing. It does have a flat at the top, so it's about an inch of drop, but they've managed, because it's only three millimeters, it comes down to a really nice edge. And because of the shape of the blade, even though you do have kind of a nice, let's get accurate there, you do have a nice tip on it. Uh, so it's not really that pokey. Uh, it is very slicey, and particularly for draw cuts, this shape of knife is just fantastic. So opening boxes, packages, that kind of cutting is the stuff that you do on a regular basis. The Deviant here may very well be the excellent choice, knife choice for you. And that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. This is the Kaiser Deviant. Proof to me that Kaiser is still making really good knives, even though they seem to be flying under the radar a little bit right now. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Deviant. I know I've enjoyed sharing it with you. I'm going to put this back in Women Carry Knives' knife case now. Thank you so much for watching. 
Hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.